we're slicing a banana into approximately 20 slices. Bananas are completely optional in this recipe, but I will show how to use them if you want to. I've arranged the banana around the bottom of a pre-made pie crust. Most pre-made pie crusts are graham cracker, as is this one. I'm going to take approximately two cups of cream, that's one pint or half a quart, and put them in a container. And here, when it has thickened somewhat, I add some slices of banana. This is the second banana that I sliced up into approximately 20 slices so that it will blend in well. I will then blend the banana into the cream so that there are no large banana chunks. The cream is finished when it's kind of thick. You don't have to go for stiff peaks, soft peaks are fine. I will then take in a package of instant pudding. I'm using sugar free because I'm a diabetic, but you don't have to. You can use sugar if you want to, but it should be instant pudding. The brand and flavor don't particularly matter as long as it goes particularly well with the crust. And here I'm blending the pudding into the, the cream. I then pile the cream into the pre-made pie crust. I slice another banana again into approximately 20 slices. Spread the mixed cream and banana around in the pie crust and arrange the slices of banana on top of the pie. Again, bananas are completely optional, but I am showing how to use a banana if you want to. I then place the lid of the pre-made pie crust back on the pie. Here I'm showing cream that's been mixed with chocolate pudding, and this goes into a chocolate crust to make a chocolate pie. It's important that you put the pie in the refrigerator for at least an hour, because when you first make the pie, the cream doesn't stick very well to the crust. And when you have fridged it for an hour, the cream moistens the crust a little bit and it sticks a lot better, so you can make actual slices of the pie. Here we see a finished slice of the chocolate pie. 